Any words you so guys want to rap about? Do you have a word for him? I, I have uh, Just a Just give him any word. A rug. A rug. rug. Yeah. Rug? Oh, I, um Kaiser so say that. Kaiser so uh, Kaiser Rabbit. Yeah. Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, Kaiser so say and rug. Uh, yeah. All right. Good luck. i I don't even know how this is gonna work. All right. You ready? Yeah, let's get it. You uh, ready for this? All right, here we go. Yeah, why not? I'm fucking swirling in a burden like I'm the narrator. Fucking call me Tyler Durden. I'm fucking wording like I'm playing Microsoft. Oh, my God, what they know. Like I'm Chris Bosch. Forgot the other words. And I'm eating a Kaiser. Oh, my God. It's like doesn't work, but I visor. Do it like they know it's me. I'm like Kaiser so say like an OG, like a knows me. I'm five foot three. I say the same shit they know on a different beat. It's like, oh my gosh, do it in life. Maybe later at a rub and tug and then I'll finish on a rug. What you know? Bubby's Boys presents. <laughs> That so, would be so funny if Gavin yeah, was, was just like, like a, the flow was weak. Yeah, no. was, <laughs> according to official rules, <laughs> too many syllables in the third line. It's because no, I, that's it's a stagger, but it's. it's I don't know if that was actually 16 bars. Go back. I, <laughs> I started comedy 12 years ago ish. I don't have to do the date every time, but when I started, and it was, like for you, you moved to Hamilton how long ago? I, right at that time. So when I started stand up, not only did I have I seen but, you on television. You were here before that. Oh yeah, I lived in Toronto. I lived. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was, I, I lived at Bathurst in Eglinton, and then I moved right down to uh, yeah, Queen and John. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Queen and John, and then we moved to, and I was out west. My wife's like, let's go move to Hamilton, and we moved there. And then, yeah, I, I was literally only a couple months into stand-up comedy. Uh, I, without, I How long I had you been doing best. stand-up at that point? Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, 15, 20, uh, 20 you, were, you were a head. No, but it's yeah, I was a, yeah, I was high a, ranking. Okay, so he was the mafia. Oh, yeah. boss. I was working. I was like a, yeah, yeah. a regular. When you, when you're a kid in Canada or like before when you realize or before you realize comedy is an option as a career. There's like I Gavin, how many sort of make you weird? And I, I try my best to not fanboy in situations. How many comedy nows do you have? I only have two. I mean, that's Does not like else it's so. Two? Yeah, there's a few people. No, Russell has when two. I was like in the '90s with yeah. kid. I found weed. I found comedy nows. <laughs> you killed it twice. You know. Yeah, it was. A, a I had show. to. You're the only sketch yeah. show I've ever seen that was produced in Canada. What was the Canada sketch show? Yeah, uh, comedy Inc. I, just so you know, no, I haven't seen any here. <laughs> yeah, you weren't here. <laughs> I'm not intimidated yeah, by you even a little bit. Yeah, oh, you had a little sketch show, did you? But the reality, as a Canadian, it's so funny that I love doing the podcast with you because it's like Gavin when Gavin. To, to but it's all Canadian Hamilton. stuff too. Totally, right? but when I, yeah, it's all Canadian stuff. Yeah. But when you came to, to Hamilton and I saw your first set, I was like, this guy is hilarious. And then the more I like, because in Hamilton at the time, there's only so many mics. Yeah, so yeah. when I would see you, I'm like, yeah. I know this guy. Like, where do I know this guy? And then you put the pieces <laughs> together and you're like, oh man, this guy, if like there was royalty in Canada, it would be you. <laughs> Like yeah. if there was well, Canadian, the, we do have royalty. No, 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 no. He <laughs> means <laughs> Canadian <laughs> representation. Well played, he sir. means Canadian <laughs> comedy. Oh, okay. yes. no, I mean you, Hamilton's like comedy. Like you got Eugene Levy and Martin Short from there. Yes, and I like, agree. Yeah, so it's like I mean, I bet you would do better stand up than both of those guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah Martin that Short's too. pretty good. Yes, but you're stand -up? phenomenal. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I don't. I. But I've he, seen Martin Short like improvise and have fun and do a dance he's number. He's great at roasting oh, it's, people. It's also the yeah. thing. He's the, really good at in the moment. I think my, I, I'm like a I'm a comedy journeyman. So that's what I am. I'm not this like is so funny. Wait, you what does that mean? You're putting like you're like a blue collar guy. Like I like I got I go to work with my lunch and pail. <laughs> and I, <laughs> and I a, I'm not like I'm not he's been a role player. Just putting up contenders. the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, put yeah, up my numbers. You're a squad player. That's right. Happy to be there. Right. What do they call them in basketball when you're like? Yeah, journeyman. I'm a journeyman. I'm like. A journeyman. I'm very happy with that. A, German, a journeyman in British sports means he goes from team to team yes. to team to team, yeah. and he ends up playing in like the Ukrainian so league. He's just one of those players that, like, oh, he comes in and he does the job he needs to yeah, do, okay. and he's like, he's really good. Wait, that's how you see yourself. That's how I see if myself. Canada was like, like a, a sport, okay? Or if Canada was was basketball. Canadian comedy. If Canadian comedy okay. was like basketball, in my world, you're, it's like you're like the G League or you're like China, and you're the best in that league. Yeah, you know, and it's just one of those things. Sounds insane. No, I mean, no, well, like China the, the and G League are best, great. Dude, that's just... I don't know. I, I just... I, I, How is that insulting? In my head, that's insulting. If I, 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 I came to you and I was like... Hey you, you're because I'm saying Canadian comedy. I'm saying it's well. That's In what Canadian I'm, comedy. That's what I'm saying. Canadian comedy is. 
I'm not insulting Gavin. I'm insulting the system. Canadian comedy. Because it's just, again, before I did stand up, I was a fan. Yeah. And I was a fan of Gavin's. And the fact that he's on my podcast in your apartment blows my – like, it doesn't need more of a <laughs> I like as how you a, threw in, in my apartment just Ariel, to, to, like, really <laughs> bring us into the moment. As eh? Ariel <laughs> pointed out, like, yes, we are good friends. I know that's hilarious that you're, you start every pod with my good friend because I don't think I have any friends minus you and you now, Max. Sad. Not even paying attention. No, it's good. Oh, I like if it. you haven't watched that pod, it's sad. <laughs> okay, but all, all there's a lot of sadness in yeah, this podcast. Uh, yeah, we try to go for comedy, no, but yeah. what Forget, we hit is oh, sad. Yeah, we'll get out of the sad. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not against <laughs> it. I'm for it. Do it. It was just wild. And then when I got to watch you, it's like yeah. usually when people gave me feedback, and especially early on, I was an egomaniac. Like I'm still an egomaniac, but I was bad. And I actually listened to you. Yeah, but, but that's natural. To the, like, yeah. Like, yeah, when you're, when you, it's so nat when you're new, you think you're like, like, you don't want to hear any negative shit because it's like, as soon as I hear one, it means I'm not, I'm not there. That, yeah, that's that's the last thing anyone wants to Yeah, you're here. just, it's so natural. Especially in the G League. My first show was in front of 60 people who knew me and cared. And then, <laughs> and then my second set was not, you know, so. Yeah, you did well your second set. Didn't no, you? I did not. I, I bombed story. real Where was hard. it? In South Africa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I did South Africa. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah the I was there casino? for a month. I yeah we did because I did a few rooms. Parkers. Yeah, it might have been Parkers yeah, yeah. too. Parkers was sick. Shout out Parkers. I did the dirty show at the. It's gone. Smirnoff International Comedy Festival. Yeah, that's gone too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was fun. We had a month. Yeah, out like there. how your eyes are like what the internet? Yeah. yeah, if you think the Canadian comedy scene is bad, I can't yeah. imagine the oh, South African brutal. comedy scene is thriving. It seemed like it was going good. Like it, I, when I was there. Uh, the, yeah, there are a lot of good shows. Yeah. I'm sure. And they're good comics for yeah. sure, but like that's the craziest part is that we all think that everyone's so good at comedy, but in everywhere in the world, there's like, there's gonna be so many great comics. There would have yeah. to be just in little pockets all over. I think when you find like people like uh, when like the scene is struggling, you'll find comics who are like doing it just because they like it, Wasn't and so right? then you get like good comics out of that. Just like having you, fun. Yeah, you're just having fun. And you that's don't care. The best. Right, but yeah. Don't you think that's what creates Toronto's issue in comedy, though? What, like, what do you mean? My issue with Toronto comedy right now, and if we solve this, we'll be very rich men. Okay. Is how they'll come out in thousands for these other comedians. Yeah. These like bigger names. Yeah. And you could probably argue that they're better because they get longer sets more frequently. Yeah. Like if you gave all three of us forty minutes every night. Yeah. Twice a but night. But those people are there to see those people. But you're talking about like I, Americans, I, yeah, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about yeah. Matt Rife comes but to they town sells out. Yeah. Russell Peters comes. Well, that's different because he's from but, here. Yeah. But, but they also, saying, the way they, they like hook in early. Like yeah. Schultz, when he was he's coming, he had the buzz enough. Yeah, people yeah. 18,000 one night. Think about like, that's our low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. Like, like I see it in Hamilton. As you know this. or like Just Canada in general. Like, like Hamilton, I remember performing for people and they'd be like, Oh, you're shit because you're performing for me. Oh, and it's kind of the same so attitude. Sad. That's sadder than me. That's, that's why why Canada has the same thing. That's it's actually so funny to say that to an audience. Yeah. That, you guys, this upset. But I, think- we did a roast. <laughs> it was a roast of someone. And I, I pointed that because everyone's joke was that I moved to Hamilton. <laughs> that's what their roast was. And I'm like, you guys are you, you're just like, saying that I'm shit for being around you. Yourself, right. You know, what's so funny is you were like, you were like, you know, I own a house here, right? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> but like, the, it's just that that we have that like can- Canadians have that where it's like, oh, you're here. Well, it's not because mm. even when I when I'm on stage and I bring up I'm from Hamilton originally, some people are like, oh, I'm sorry, like you know. Yeah. Just, what, like, what, what, I, yeah what are you talking about? What I find about? fascinating about that though is then there's also this undercurrent of Canadian national pride. Yeah. And I have a bit we're working right now where it's like, oh no. Like I'm from the third world. Yeah. And then I'll be. They they tell me this is the first world. And the minute you tell Canadians this place sucks, they're like, whoa, hey, whoa. Yeah. Hey. Well, you, you know this better than us. We just did Ontario, and I'm like, well, it's gonna be a while before Rough. we go back out. But oh, why? What happened? No, we just have the club. Okay. We okay. can't. I mean, a lot happened, but we've also <laughs> talked about it a lot on this podcast. Well, so okay, so uh, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you know, we took a gamble, and yeah. it's just like we bet on ourselves, but at the same time, we had the club. Mm-hmm. And if we ever sold out the club, like it's repetitive this time, but like we wouldn't. We, we should have done one on or the other. Yeah, you don't get both. <laughs> oh, okay. Like eventually, sure. Yeah. But right now, we just did Ontario. And is that all of Canada? Is like the whole thing just Sudbury, which big old shithole? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not. But no, but I get what you're saying. What's your favorite city? Oh uh, my favorite! Oh my god, I do love going to. I'm going this weekend. I do love going to Halifax and Lunenburg. I'm in this week, but Lunenburg. Lunenburg is like it sounds a, like home. What eh? the fuck is a Lunenburg? It's like this small. It's like an, a retirement kind of like bed and breakfast town. <laughs> 
It's Sounds so Jewy. awesome. <laughs> my friend owns a restaurant. I do shows there. It's always Sick. packed. It's wicked. It's yeah, you're straight. the first, you're the only show every. All, all year. They they used to do tons of shows. We were the first show, and but the it's kind of come and gone, and yeah, I, I'm go, I go almost every time I'm out there, and it's just like we get to stay in a hotel. We eat his amazing food. He's he owns Shut a. It out. Uh, oh yeah, it's uh the grand grand banker. The Grand Banker on Check Saturday. Out the Grand Banker. It's a great place. And for $200, place. this could have been an ad. <laughs> What's wild is that it's, I mean, it sounds like a Jewy town because the last, like, birds Lunaburg? Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, the, the place is called the Giant Banker. Like, you know? <laughs> the Grand Banker, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the Grand Banker. banker. <laughs> like, oh, like, uh, the logo is just like a, a nose. It's like, wait, that's good. It's town, man. It, I, yeah, it's a, yeah, I, li- I, like, I like out there. I do like Hamilton, too. I like it, too. And I like Toronto. Toronto's I do like Toronto. Problem. Montreal, I don't mind. Like the, every every town's got its own little thing. thing. I don't like London though. No offense to London. I like London comedy scene. I don't know the scene too much. Check out Giggle Boys. Shout okay. out Giggles. Shout out Giggle they're, Boys. They're probably yeah. great comics out there. It's uh, the London's. Any this sad m- town will bring you good comics. Yeah, but like we'll okay, there's a, there's sad town, and then there's sad town that doesn't know how to laugh at themselves. Yeah, yeah. London does not know how to laugh at themselves. <laughs> Hamilton knows how to laugh at itself. We call that Niagara <laughs> Falls. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that. What happened? If you get oh. too funny in Niagara Falls, they'll talk over you. <laughs> <laughs> I've That's I, how you know you're doing well. I Niagara. remember doing a show with Jason Rouse in Niagara Falls, and it, and so they hate us. We were split middling, and it used to be this old bus station that Yucks used to be in, a converted bus station. That's badass. It it really looked nice, but it was also like really high ceilings. Anyway, so Jason's bombing, and there's this guy in the front row, and he must have been in a wheelchair, and he's like, "I'm gonna take your legs and then beat you with them and stuff." <laughs> like he was just like, "I'm committed." To going downhill with this, that's, that's the and we're just way. like, <laughs> we're that's just, yeah, it was. Uh, we were laughing, you but yeah, commit. that's the hardest part of the whole thing is realizing like not everyone's gonna like what you say. Yeah, if, you, if you're authentic and true, someone will, and that person will pay for shit. And a lot so of those audiences are older. <laughs> and when you're like, you like, you go play like you're if you play Toronto a lot, and then you go out to one of these places. And it's like it's this translation that just doesn't happen. But I also don't understand. Like I'm here to make you laugh. Why do you get angry for? Like what the fuck? Some people just trigger. People get happy. mad. I'm like I'm for here us, for us. The to weirdest, make you laugh. The weirdest one for me is the anxiety. Yeah. Like everyone's anxious coming yeah. into a show, and you're like, you paid money. Yeah. You chose what you were doing, and you didn't read any of it. You Have didn't you s- read one piece of what you were yeah. coming into. We tell you it's inside another tell you, it's bar. All written down. We tell you, you are from another country. It's wild because you your expectations for, like like I roll into this stuff like expecting what you, you is like. This him. is crazy. If someone pulls a cell phone out when oh, we're on stage, get yeah. fucked. Like someone's yeah. kids could I'm be like on fire. You, you know, like someone's yeah. grandma could be dying. I don't yeah. give a shit. And yeah. I was like, you have eighty minutes. She's dead in eighty <laughs> minutes from now. <that. laughs> like, if you know your grandmother's gonna catch on fire, don't come to the don't. show. Yeah, yeah, if, all, that's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. The if, if she's flammable, <laughs> stay home. It's weird yeah. though. I find too that like you'll say things and, and because it's like on stage, it's like you go wild. You take the personality and amp it. Yeah. And I already say wild shit. So when they look at me and they're like, oh my God, it's like these are jo-. like, yeah. how do you not know these are jokes? Like I'm not, like I'm not saying that I don't believe the shit I'm saying. It's and just, I'm not, but it's just like we're here to have fun. Yeah. Like we're here to have it. Like, come on. I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's weird. Like when you first, I'm, I'm not saying you guys are first on the road, but when you start like, there's a long chunk of time where you're like, I don't know how to connect to these people. You just stand in an audience and you're like, I have no idea what these people want. And then you're like, I got to do 40 minutes. That's the we got to figure part. something out. We and did uh, when we did Sudbury that we dealt with some racism. And oh yeah, yeah. I, I dealt with racism in Sudbury. <laughs> <laughs> of course everywhere. you did. Yeah. Everyone did. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a thing. Um, but when it's we not did, the same. Yeah. But it's like it, gets to a, it gets to a point though where like you're 20 minutes in, 25, and you're doing well. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, these people that don't like me or laughing and it should be empowering. Yeah. But then they laugh at a joke and you're like, I just don't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to make you laugh. Like, yeah. you don't, why am I now giving you like my talent? Like I'm yeah. not coming to your place and getting my car fixed or whatever. Well, they see do. your problem is know. you have integrity. Oh, do you, gotta I? Get, you gotta get rid <laughs> of it. Yeah. You, yeah, you know what they yeah. say about Brad and Sub- <laughs> <laughs> integrity. Mr. Yeah. Integrity. You are. Wow. There's some, inte- that, I mean, that is, yeah. right no, that's, yeah, it's, that's what that is. Those sure. people, it's weird. I was, I was somewhere. I was, I think it was Montreal. I was working the communists and I'm like Saturday show. And I, I, I say some weird shit on shows like 
I'm like, when I was, I one time told some comics that, you know, we, we get good through trauma. <laughs> like, that's basically how it works. Like, we just go through a whole bunch of trauma, and then we learn how to overcome the trauma. So I was telling this comic that, like, it's so weird that these people come down. They're not coming down for, like, our art and shit. Oh, no. They're coming down to, like, get well, drunk. Yeah. And, and, and we, it's like, oh, We laugh. don't call it art, the two of us. Yeah, well, it is. We it's call crafts. it a craft. Because you know, craft. craft. Okay, it's, it's, yeah. it's more of a cra- craftsman. Yeah. It's an art. You guys like yeah. it's an art. You might make art. It's you, we make craft. We all make art. This is art. <laughs> you're you're putting out an idea. There's artistic merit to it. I'm not saying. Yeah, that. you're I'm putting just... that. The, you can learn the craft, but there's still even the even if you're getting laughs, you do some level of art. It might not be the best, but, but there's weird. art to it. It's weird how people literally are right. If like there's people you'll do a show and you're doing well, and it's almost as if the audience is upset because they came to watch yeah. a train wreck. Yeah. They came there to watch. Like That's why I think Kill Tony does so well. Yeah. Because you get both. You get like top-notch comedians doing those interviews, and then just the worst amateur comedy yeah. ever. An audience is like, Man, I cannot Dude, watch that. Can them. you watch that show? I I've can't never watch watched, that show. I've watched like, It's clips. fucking brutal. Dude, can you yeah. get like a good, cl- like a bomb on there? Dude, let's, he asked, let's get Gavin to fucking react to this. Dude, he asks for a clip. Okay. He, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, no, do you it. don't have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show it to him. You've never I've seen, seen the show. Just watch. Look up. T- I've seen him ask the audience. Worst he goes, bomb. He goes, hey, are you guys here to watch comedy? And then like they cheer a little. And he goes, are you guys here to watch amateurs like bomb? And like 80% of the room goes nuts. See, I don't like that. I don't get why how that's. Yeah, I don't. Like how is that a fun night out? I don't get it. Do you know what I'm saying? How is like, I get that's a fun night. I'm not saying Kill Tony. I like Kill Tony. Yeah, you're hey, a fan. Kill Tony I'm fan. In. I'm saying how is amateur comedy. How do you comedy? get through it? Like we don't do amateur nights. Yeah. And we're not trying to be pompous assholes. We just, well, we were we don't amateurs do, once. We don't yeah. do open mics. Like, we'll bring people. Sure, you bring. bring I was them. like, why are people not doing more amateur comedy? And now I've been. I'm on the other side. I'm like, I 100 oh, percent understand why so people. You mean don't at the do, club, or you yeah, mean yeah. in general? Oh, you guys don't do it in general. No, well, sure, that's, that's a different conversation. Like, yeah. if we didn't have the club, if we we open mic in Sudbury because we needed sets and to work. Yeah, on yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. I'm just saying the conversation is we don't at the club run an open mic because oh. we know if you are a bar or a comedy club and you run an open mic, yeah. you're going out of business. Like that's really last chance. I never. I've Five never stuff. looked at that. Who's the Brian Waters? They're not yeah. Brian Waters. Yeah, they're there. I've that, never thought about the, that. Or you have the mentally ill drinking in the, the back of your business. You just had those brilliant. It's like, yeah, you need open mics. To oh, because like, it does kind of ruin the need, room. But you do need it to get better. Like we have Sundays for that where Ario has a riff show. So with the riff show, it's like part of it is you get to try brand new material. Yeah. So it's like we get our open mics differently. I get it. They're needed in the process. But as a business, we don't have an, yeah. an amateur night. Like. I'm toying with ideas with him right now how to make because there is an audience that loves bombs. I There's see. Like I always pre- looked at amateur night like with there should be levels, right? Like like, like karate. Pre- yeah, like like there's a, a, a shit process row. to get people through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. System. And, and it's kind of like you know minor the, league. The, the problem no, with that is belts, then we ha- then no no we I ha- mean like types of rooms. Oh sick. Like, but so then we have to be there to be watching these people yeah. to progress. It's like, it's like, like I don't uh, have time to sit through a two hour two and a half hour show of bad it's comedy. Like the cellar. Yeah. They have the yeah. one room in the basement. You graduate. Well, I'm in like in town in the city. No, right? like yeah, yeah. We're we're that. What we are is we're a development crowd. I wouldn't look at us as like we get people ready for bigger stages. Yeah. I'm sure you've noticed it over time, our improvement, and I'm sure you've noticed it with the club. Mm -hmm. But, like, that place is just there. We opened it so we can get better. It's become a comedy gym. As Jews, yes, it's cool that we we are turning it into a profitable business. But the reality is... say as Jews? Well, that's why it's so funny. You didn't have to throw it in there. (laughs) There's no need. Did you find it? No, that's what it is. It's exactly... Like to it's make, okay. To I've seen it. I've seen people place. bomb. To make it it's full terrible. Circle, we're the G League where we get people, we develop talent. Like yeah. we don't do more ourselves more than 15 I think minutes. Canada in general is a G League. You said it before. Well, that's hilarious. I mean, yeah. but like if you do the Meridian Hall or you're doing like like even Yuck Yucks downtown, mm-hmm. if you're filling Yuck Yucks downtown. That's a real, yeah, yeah. absolute, those are real clubs. I see. I don't look at shit like that anymore. I, I did. Yeah, like, yeah. I did. But I don't, like it's all like. It's levels, like you said. Yeah, I know, but it's also like everything has, and I don't mean this to be like I'm whatever, but it's like everything has a use to get into the act. So everything, so even working like a yucks or something, that's another another thing that I need to use as an act. It's like a video game and you have like checks. Right, yeah, it's all like this is Checklist. towards the end goal. Yes. So well, it's I, all kind of the same and they're all kind of have different levels of usefulness for it that's sick yeah so i like i i used to be like oh i gotta get into this club and then i was like because you don't get into every club and you're like sitting there going why the fuck won't they let me in i that horrible mindset. right i had to change yeah, my I've brain from all been there well yeah. that, all it is is like you're just looking for approval you're, just looking, for you're looking for people to validate you right so i'm like i all of it's the same to me like it's all the same club with us it's like it's it's kind of like you were saying with the different levels we're like 
There's the uh, there's the open mic or like the, the under twenty people show. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like what we do, the fifty, sixty people show. Then you have your like two hundred people show. Then it's like three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it, it, what I mean, all the same. It's it, what I mean is like it's all useful in the big. It's game. all useful. It's not like that the the three hundred is the same as the twenty, but it is the twenty. I'm going to use it for something. For sure. And I need it just like I need the three hundred. But I don't go. Oh, the three hundred is the greatest show that ever lived. The reason it's I like love I Kill Tony rolling. is you see these people doing stand up. Now forget the amateurs. You'll see it once. In a while or the regulars go up and it's their first time performing for 3,000 people yeah and wow. you'll see someone how as a comic you'll notice now like oh if You're i was in that situation no forget yeah. even that when you tell a joke now you usually have to pause to get the joke for a laugh yeah but now you're pausing you only have a minute so now you're pausing for like 30 20 seconds because your joke has to go go to the back and come to even, the front yeah like the way i tell jokes at the club and i've, I've been slowing down for the pops because I, yeah. I like that feeling but like the reality of it is is in a big theater a big pop, yeah that's exactly it's how it is 20 it's all different seconds. ways to work right like that's one exactly good joke if it's that developer property. Yeah, it, it goes it's and then comes crazy. back. It's, it's all crazy. different pacing. But that's like you're saying, yeah. by doing the three thousand seat yeah. theater, you now have that tool in your pocket. My thing is all about building albums. That's all I give. What's a the fuck biggest of. room you've ever? Oh, I don't know. I've I've played like, big rooms, yeah, but like dude, you're f- not not <laughs> like not like uh, I like Russell plays the um, ACC. Is it called? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've never played stuff like that. But okay, we'll talk about albums. How many albums do you have? Uh, <laughs> you're dope. I <laughs> have, I technically I have two or three, but I also. Which one are you most proud? Of? Why is it technically? I, the last one because I I released one and the audio was terrible, so I redid uh, it. The curse with, of Canadian comedy. Yeah, the curse of, and then I redid it, and so the last one I'm pretty proud of. But this one that I just recorded, I'm like, I really like the material. We were there that night. We're, oh yeah, you were there that the night. Universe yeah. is cool. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. yeah. We and didn't see it. No, we but you were doing your own show. next door. Yeah, you guys were in the other. That's a nice studio space. Just sick, and I'm glad yeah, it went well. I like it. It's, it's nice like space, it. but yeah. it's yeah. like a man cave. He's saying yeah, that because like, we're you're saying just... that because I bombed. He had a great set. <laughs> well, it's my hometown. I'm, a, I'm in a good mood because my parents saw me for the first time in like oh, 11 nice. years, and I, I, I do well now. So yeah, like, they were I probably... need to bring my parents out to a show. They saw me. I, I did the, um, what's it called? The. Uh, uh, What's the debaters? And I, I was, I was fine. I wasn't good, but I was fine. But they were, they liked everybody else. So I was like, that's all that matters. Um, well, My, where are your parents in Toronto? Yeah, well, Markham. So they could see you. Um, what day are you in Backroom <laughs> Comedy Club? Uh, oh, Backroom. I'm on the seventeenth. Parents are listening. May at the Backroom Comedy Club, eight and ten p.m. Mr. and Mrs. Stevens, we d- you don't even have to pay. Just come on and support Gavin. <laughs> come on, no, no. two for one. No, you gotta pay. <laughs> you gotta pay. <laughs> you, you gotta sell to tickets. You that's why we're doing this pod. Yeah, yeah, we gotta sell, sell tickets. I wasn't sell offering tickets. everyone. I said Gavin's parents. Listen, there's not a lot of room. We don't have too much room. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah and it's gonna sell out. Yeah, it's gotta sell out. It's got to sell it's out. It's gonna sell yeah, out. Yeah, it's gonna sell out. Guys, you just went through every emotion. It's called manifestation, bitch. It's gonna sell out. <laughs> it's gonna, gonna sell out. out. Close your it's eyes and picture it's sold out. Uh, this has been the Bobby Boys this podcast. Been the Bobby's Boys podcast. I've been Brando Joe. I've been Kagan. Oh, I'm Gavin Stevens. Where can they yeah. find you? Uh, GavinStevens.ca, and you can get all my socials and stuff there. Sick. Sick. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, Later. We the Bobby's Boys. Bobby's Boys. <laughs> <laughs>